Last week, I made a video about Ben Fry and how his horrible tackling technique almost resulted in a player breaking his neck. Let's take a guess about what the URC did about the tackle. You are correct. They did absolutely nothing because they are too incompetent to do their jobs. Then last weekend, Ben Fry goes onto the field and makes another horrific tackle, which resulted in a player getting hurt. Look at the time when Ben Fry comes onto the field. I want to show you how long it takes him before he resorts to his dirty tackling. It's been roughly one minute since Ben got onto the field. Now look at Lions number 18 getting the ball before Ben Fry dives directly into his knee with absolutely no attempt to wrap. That is disgraceful from Ben Fry. This is what happens when World Rugby allows defenders to dive into the knees of players. Does this look like player safety to you? Let's look at it again. Ben Fry makes absolutely no attempt to wrap. He simply just torpedoes himself into the knees of the ball carrier. How on earth can this be deemed safe? Here we can see the tackle clearly caused discomfort to the ball carrier. Like what the hell? Do we need to wait for someone to end their career before World Rugby steps in? They even show the replay on screen, yet the ref does nothing. The replays clearly shows that there was no attempt to wrap. It also shows how the ball carrier gets lifted into the air because of that weak tackle attempt by Ben Fry. I have no idea how they check the tackle and think that it's safe. Here I want to show you how South Africa teaches their young players to tackle, where our players use arms and where they rap when they make a tackle. I wish Ben Fry could learn from this and stop his cheap shots, because it's going to seriously injure someone in the future. Just look at this, it's perfect technique. Just look at how he uses his arms to wrap in the tackle. This is how you tackle. Another tackle by the same player. Look at how he wraps his arms around the legs. He is not just diving into the knees of the ball carrier. So, why do our players have to use perfect technique, but the Northern Hemisphere can just dive into the knees of our players with no attempt to wrap? Are we also allowed to make cheap shots, or is it a Northern Hemisphere thing? Then lastly, I find this extremely funny. Remember how Henko got suspended last week for charging into the ruck? Here is the clip that I'm referring to. To give context, Henko got suspended three weeks for this. I posted a video covering how the URC completely messed up Henko's hearing and basically suspended him for laws he never infringed. I want to show you how Ben Fry makes an even worse challenge than Henko yet nothing happened to him. It's a joke. Let's look at Ben Fry's challenge. Does this look familiar to you? It's an even worse challenge than Henko's challenge, yet it goes unseen. Let's watch again. We can see Ben Fry coming from a distance, goes in head first and makes contact with the head of a Lions player, essentially making direct head to head contact, yet nothing happened. So why is it that Henko gets suspended, but Ben Fry does it and gets away with it? Where is the consistency? Do our players need to dive and fake injuries before World Rugby will apply the laws consistently?